Hello. So first things first, something amazing has happened recently. Miller's Planet has reached 1,000 subscribers. High five. <laughs> Great. Thank you guys so much. You guys are amazing and I love you. Um, I was thinking about doing a Q&A pretty soon, so if you have any personal and or burning questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments of this video and I will answer them. On to a more serious issue. Um, I've been having a problem recently. One of my family members, or someone on the street, I don't know, in the middle of the night while everyone else is asleep, walks into my kitchen and takes my Pop-Tarts. I buy a brand new box, right? And then I have like maybe one or two packs and then two or three days later, they're all gone. Pfft, what? Now, I know what you're thinking. Jay, you're being a little weird about this. Well, what is weird is that everyone in this house claims to hate strawberry Pop-Tarts, and also, no one eats them during the day. I find that strange. I even interrogated what I thought to be my main suspect. Hey, um, have you been eating my Pop-Tarts, the ones in the, in the cabinet? Strawberry ones? Yeah. No. Oh, okay, cool. Sorry to waste your time. You see what I'm dealing with here? It's like I'm dealing with the Ted Bundys of Pop-Tarts. I guess no one did it. So, I think you know where this is going. I'm going to be building a laser tripwire to catch whoever is stealing my tarts. So let's get into how this is all going to work. First things first is parts. So for my microcontroller, I'm going to be using an Arduino Uno, and I will get into why I'm even using a microcontroller a little bit later. I will also be using a photoresistor, a laser module, a 9 volt battery, one N channel MOSFET, which can be switched out with a BJT, one 100K resistor, and a buzzer. So I need to design a circuit that is going to be perfectly fine and stress free while its photoresistor is being hit with laser light but gets angry and starts yelling when that laser line is broken. So whenever engineering something, you always have to highlight and deal with constraints. So constraint number one would be mobility. I need this thing to be completely independent from any kind of computer, hence the battery pack. The plan is to keep this whole setup inside the cabinet where I keep the tarts. And when the perpetrator comes along and tries to grab one, he pushes the box ever so slightly backwards and trips the alarm. And my Pop-Tarts live to see another day, until I eat them, of course. And constraint number two kind of relates to constraint number one. So the circuit needs to rely solely on outputs or commands given to it by the Arduino. And the last constraint I'm going to mention is this thing's size. I'm going to be putting this thing inside a cabinet purposefully hidden away. So I need the laser to be as small as possible, and I need the Arduino and all of its wires to be as inconspicuous as possible. And at this point you might be thinking, well, won't the perpetrator see the Arduino? Well, do not worry, I'm going to be putting things in front of both the Arduino and the laser. Things that nobody touches, like crackers or whatever these are. Now I know the Arduino is going to use up a little bit more room, as opposed to just using a breadboard with a battery or using like a PCB or something, but I made the sacrifice because with the Arduino, I can make sounds like this. Which I am hoping will make the perpetrator have lots of diarrhea. So with all that out of the way, let's move on to the circuit. So I'm going to set up the end channel MOSFET and the buzzer here first. You'll see why in a minute. Uh, so the buzzer's positive is going to go directly to positive, and its negative is going to go to the MOSFET's drain. If you're unfamiliar with how transistors work, I made a video about it a couple weeks ago, should get you up to speed. But anyway, for this MOSFET, it goes gate, drain, source from left to right. The gate getting the full 6 volts at a lower current, drain getting the full 6 volts, but instead of a positive 6 volts, it's just getting the voltage coming in from the buzzer, and source going to ground. Now the buzzer is the key to this whole thing. It's going to get the normal 6 volts, but the current is going to be dropped really low. I want it to be low enough so that if I attach a photoresistor from the base to ground and activate it, the current will take the path of least resistance through the photoresistor to ground. So when there's no light shining on the photoresistor, the current can't pass through it. It instead flows through the 100 kilo ohm resistor to the base, letting the buzzer turn on, but when light reaches the photoresistor, 
current redirects through it going to ground instead of through the higher resistance route to base. So I just set up the trap. We have everything set up here. Um, I have the pop tarts literally just on the edge here. So when anyone sticks their hand in there, it's going to fall over. Um, pretty, pretty not visible at all when you walk up to it. So that's good. And the camera that I'm going to be using is going to be right behind the coffee maker. So now we wait. Hello, sir. I'm calling the police. You scared the crap out of me. <laughs> uh, sir? So, are you the perpetrator? Yes. And what is our deal? Nothing in this world will ever stop me from eating your Pop-Tarts. We said at least 50%, sir. I want at least 50% of the box. I will give you at least 50% So, thank you guys for watching. I will go ahead and see you next time.